My goal is to help you make more money. So today I'm going to show you how to find thousands of new leads every single day automatically. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is go up here, click on import from file, then choose the file and hit open. That's going to bring it all up for you. Let's already have it. We'll just leave that there. All right. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to figure out these red things. Okay. So double click on this one. All right. So here, the front. What we need to do here is set up a credential. So if click on here, we're gonna to need to create a new credential. Now, as you can see, we're gonna need a client ID and a client secret. So to get these, we need to go to Google Cloud Console. All right, once you've done that, go up here, search for APIs and services. There we go. Enable APIs and services. Google Sheets. Click on Google Sheets API, enable. All right, now click on credentials over here. All right, very good. Now we're gonna create a new credential. OAuth client ID, application type, web application. And then all we need to do here is set the authorized redirect URL. So this here is going to be from N8N. So we'll go back over here and click here to copy. Go back over here, paste, create. Now you're going to see your client ID. So copy, paste, copy the client secret, paste. Click back into OAuth consent screen. Click on audience, click on add users. This is where you're going to add your email. So save. All right, now go back over here, sign with Google, click your email, continue, select all, continue, successful, there we go. Now we need to set our Google document in our Google Sheets, so go to Google Sheets, sign in. All right, so here we're going to need to create a new spreadsheet. And then you're going to go over here and open up the sheets that you downloaded. All right, now that we have that, control A, control C to copy, and then control V over here. See, perfectly, you'll have all your column names set up, or we'll call it leads, that make it easier. And then select leads, perfect. And then for the sheet, we're going to need to actually get the other sheet, so Double click on here. It's gonna bring up the sheet number two. So, control A, control V to copy. Go back over here. We're gonna create a new sheet over here. Rename this to workflow state. Then paste. Perfect. Now back over here. Choose from list. And then we're just gonna choose a workflow state from there. Now that is done. So the second one is over here, get existing leads. So we have set our Google Sheets credential. So document, click from list here. Again, it's gonna be the leads document. Sheet from list, this is going to be the workflow state. No, 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 this is actually gonna be from sheet because this is where we're getting existing leads. So over here, append or up Update row is going to be from list leads and the sheet is going to be called sheet one because that's where we're updating our information. And then lastly is update index. So document from list, it's gonna be leads from sheet from list. Uh, this is gonna be from workflow state, that's correct. Perfect. So now the last thing that we need to do is click on this one, workflow variable. So double click. All right, so here we just need to change our Appify token and our industry IDs. Let's start by doing the industry IDs actually because that's faster and easier. So go ahead and double click on the industry IDs JSON to open that up. Here you're gonna see a list of all of the industries and their IDs that you can use. So for example, if you wanted to do construction and marketing advertising, just take the first one 
and then use a comma, space, and then take the second one, copy, paste, okay? And then you're gonna copy that whole thing and then bring it over here and just paste it in. That's going to be in order of the most important to the least important because the first ones are gonna get contacted first and then the, the second ones are gonna get contacted later. So now that we have that done, um, we'll just leave that alone. And then now we need to figure out our Appify token. So go to Appify.com. Perfect. And then sign up if you haven't already. Go to console. So for me, I've already signed up. And as you can see, I've scraped thousands of leads. So uh, most important thing here is that you actually have to sign up for a plan in order to use the API, which will allow you to do this automatically instead of manually. So you do need to sign up for that. It's $39, not that much. Um, so as you can see, I've done it uh, $69 here already and I have uh, $20 left, but that's plenty. It'll get you, you know, 30,000 leads. So perfect. Uh, so now all we need to do is we need to find our API key. So go to settings. APIs and integrations the key that we want is probably this one. So let's try that organization API key. I'm going to go back over here and paste that over here. All right. So then click on Appify store because that's where you're built to find it. So it's actually right here, but I'll just show you. So type in Apollo scraper and then it's going to be the first one. That's the only one that works right now. So click on that. And then you're going to hit this favorite just to make sure that it shows up in your actors. So click on that, make sure it's active, and then go to actors. It's going to show up here. This is where you'll be able to monitor exactly how much you're spending. It costs about $1 for a thousand leads, so it's very affordable. Um, so just go and click on that. Uh, you'll be able to monitor your runs and you'll be able to see how much you're paying. So now all that there's left to do is to run it. And the way that it works is that every day at 2 a.m. it's going to work. And then it's going to fetch about 3,000 results. And then it's going to go through this. And it's just going to go through all this. And at the end of the day, you're going to be left with something that looks like this. All right. And then once you have all of these email addresses, then all you need to do is write the emails. And if you use the AI copywriter, you can do that automatically. And then finally, you will automatically send them that email and then automatically hit them up with the cold caller. So again, this is all completely automatic and it will just completely send appointments straight to your calendar. Now, again, you guys can find all of that here in my school community. Just go ahead and find the title that matches with that and you'll be able to get all that information.